Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Jan Reihert. A lot of sunshine overhead for us in Coralville right now. Should be a pretty nice first day of spring here as we head into the afternoon. A few clouds dotting the sky and a bit of a southerly breeze. We do have wind highlighted with that in mind as we will see those gusts anywhere around 30 miles per hour or so at times here this afternoon. It is that breeze though that helps uh, us warm things up this time of year. We're not going to get into the 50s in March without a southerly wind, so we do need that wind uh, out there. It will just be a bit of a nuisance at times here this afternoon. Into the evening, though, it does start to back off and things should be improving. So let's check out today's zone cast. Temperatures for us in our northeastern zone around 46 in Monona, 48 in Guttenberg and in Dubuque today. In our northwestern zone, climbing to around 51 for Parkersburg, Waterloo as well. 47 in Fayette and Fredericksburg this afternoon. In our central zone, around 52 in Cedar Rapids, 51 for Center Point. Tama up to around 54 and Blairstown up to around 53 in our southern zone around 54 for Iowa City, Kelowna, as well as Washington, uh, Richland up to around 55 and Wetch here around 55 as well. Again, partly cloudy skies, breezy and warmer for everyone. Now, when we look at the last several days, it certainly has been cool. 30s yesterday, 20s there for the 17th and 18th, actually our first 20s in the month of March. We've had a couple 50s already. Now, when we compare that to where we would normally expect to be, uh, we should get a fair amount of 50s this month because we've had two already, another one uh, on the way for us here today, and several more. We're only halfway through the month or so. Uh, we haven't had any of those teen temperatures. I wouldn't expect that we are going to be able to get any of those, and even our 20s are a little bit uh, below where we would expect. So certainly that leaves more room for those warmer days coming up. Now, tonight, temperatures are down into the middle 30s, mostly cloudy skies overhead. Jet stream for us uh, kind of uh, situating itself just overhead. So that's going to help kind of bring in a few systems over the next several days. They are weak systems for us. So nothing that I think is going to be a complete washout that's going to need a rearrangement of plans by any means, but enough that we could see a little bit of a shower or two here and there over the next several days. So we do have a chance tomorrow, uh, another chance as we head into uh, the day on Wednesday, and then another round possible on Thursday for us. But you'll notice as I'm going through Pinpoint Futurecast here, no system really uh, greatly impacts us. It's just a little pop of grain here and there, and uh, as we head through the end of the week. I don't think that's really going to cause too much of an issue. Amounts staying pretty light as well. I think the next several chances, that Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday chance all combined, probably giving us under less than half an inch of rainfall. So just not a lot coming our way, but there is those chances here on the nine day. Just know that they're not going to be a, a complete washout for us in the next several days. 50s on the way for the next few days as well. First full day of spring tomorrow. Uh, that does come with those evening chances for some showers scattered on Wednesday and then another round of early showers on Thursday. Otherwise, uh, quiet then as we head through the end of the week, keeping those 40s and 50s going. Yeah, we'll keep it. Sounds good. Yeah, M much more mild, I think, than this past weekend. I think a lot of folks are ready to push winter away. Yeah, coming off the weekend, 50s feels really warm. Exactly. Thanks, Jan.